Welcome to the Alpha Girl Confidence Podcast, where we are empowering youth female athletes to play and live confidently. My name is Shay Hatto, and each week I will bring you new episodes to teach you the strategies and tools that you need in order to live a confident, empowered life both on and off the playing field. Welcome back to the show and happy 2021. I hope you had a fun and safe new year. So I wanted to make sure you knew about my new texting membership called the Daily Confidence. So if you want to become more confident in a hurry, this is going to be a game changer for you. So each week I'm going to be sending you text messages with confidence tips, motivation strategies, and ways to improve your mindset both on and off the field. So in these texts, there will be a one to two minute video where you can quickly consume wherever you are and implement immediately. And it's only $4.99 per month. So if you want to start owning your confidence and stepping into your power, all you got to do is text the word confident to 844-928-3192. And I'll send you the link directly to sign up. So hope you can join us there. Excited for you to join us. All right. So let's get into today's episode. So with it being the new year, I want to walk you through an exercise that you can do in order to reflect and plan for the year ahead. So a lot of the time when we're thinking about our new, the new year and new goals and everything, we don't really take the time to reflect on the previous year. And when we don't take time to reflect on the previous year, we can miss out on a lot of great lessons that we learned, maybe some of the challenges that we went through. And when you look at the year, the previous year, and can look and see what can I do to make this next year better, it'll help you a ton. So I want to kind of walk you through these six specific questions that you're going to ask yourself in order to make 2021 a great year, no matter what happens. So the first three questions are all about reflection. Okay. So what I want you to do is either grab it, grab out a notebook and a pen and do this as you're listening or listen all the way through and then go through this exercise. So number one, you're going to ask yourself, what went well this year? So what went well for you in 2020? I know it wasn't the best year, but I want you to find the things that did go well. You can write as many things as you want. There's no right or wrong way to do this. This is for you. Okay. And number two is what's the biggest challenge or like the biggest lesson that I learned. So pick out like one of the things that really challenged you this year and, and think about what is the lesson that you learned from that and how can you get better from that? Okay. So number two is what's the biggest lesson that I learned from 2020. Number three is in what ways did I grow or improve in 2020, right? This is really related to number two. But from that lesson or that challenge, in what ways did you grow, right? There's no such thing as growth without a little bit of struggle. So I'm hoping that you grew in a lot of ways in 2020 that you can, you know, take with you into the new year. So three, in what ways did I grow or improve, right? And so the second step to this is the planning portion, Okay, so for the planning questions, this is for 2021 New Year. So the first one is, what are one to three big things that I want to accomplish this year? I want you to think big here. I want you to dream big here. Okay, don't freak yourself out by dreaming too big. Just go for it. So what are one to three things? If you only can think of one really big thing you want to accomplish this year, that's great. If you can think of more than three, that's great as well. But think, start using this time to kind of dream up the year you want. And number two is what will I start doing this year? So maybe there's something that you didn't do in 2020 and you want to start doing that in 2021. What is that thing? Okay. And then I love this last one for number three of planning is what will I stop doing this year? Okay. So this is going to require you to also reflect a little bit on 2020 and think, what did I do last year that like, that, that wasn't good for me, that didn't help me grow, that didn't help me get better. Okay. So number two is what will I start doing this year? And number three is what will I stop doing? Sometimes we need to stop doing things more than starting things. Sometimes we do so many things that are bad for us that we need to stop doing. So really reflect on those three questions for planning. So I'm going to go through again real quick. So for reflection, number one, what, what, what went well this past year? Okay. Number two, what's the biggest lesson or challenge? Number three, in what ways did I grow or improve? All right. And for planning for 2021, what are the one to three big things that I want to accomplish this year? 
Number two, what will I start doing this year? And number three, what will I stop doing this year? Okay, so now what I want you to do once you've you've taken some time and you've you've really thought about these and reflected on these questions, I want you to take that piece of paper or if you put it, you know, in your phone or whatever, put it somewhere where you can see it. So if you wrote it on a piece of paper, post it on your wall somewhere. If you typed it on your phone or computer, print it out, put it somewhere where you can see it. If you're not putting it somewhere where you can see it, I guarantee you that probably two days from now, you're going to completely forget about it. So take the time to do the work, but now that you've planned, you have to implement, right? Now that you've planned, you have to implement, you have to put in the work. And by posting it somewhere where you can see it, you're going to remember to put in the work. So again, I hope this helped. I'm wishing you a very happy, successful and fulfilling 2021. And remember that no matter what happens or doesn't happen this year, that you always have the power to change your mindset. You always have the power to grow and improve no matter what is going on in the world. All right, so I hope you enjoy this episode. Thanks so much for listening and I'll catch you on next week's episode. Oh,